Hello and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Ansu Fati, as it has been reported that Barca have been offered a chance to swap the forward for Premier League midfielder Ruben Neves plus cash. We are going to be discussing more on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about La Liga Supremo Javier de Bas, who have recently given Barcelona hopes of resigning Lionel Messi, saying that they are going to sell players for a good amount if that is going to happen. So guys, as we get right into the full story, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. In a major story, Tony Juan Marti is reporting that super agent Josh Mendes has offered Barcelona a chance to swap Ansu Fati for Wolves midfielder Ruben Neves plus cash this summer. Fati has lost his prominence in this Barcelona setup this season after Xavi Hernandez, and even though he is intent on staying put, the club are considering selling him in order to achieve financial fair play. Only earlier this week, it had been reported that Wolves were among the Premier League clubs to show an interest in Ansu Fati. Given the influence that Josh Mendes carries at the Midlands outfit, it is not surprising that they wish to sign the forward. And now, the super agent has tabled a proposal for Barcelona, which would see them part ways with Ansu in exchange for Ruben Neves plus some cash. Neves has been long linked with a move to Spotify Camp Nou as a possible replacement for Sergio Busquets. However, the club's sporting staff has not been totally convinced by the Portuguese international and has been having doubts about his ability to play as a single pivot. Despite that, Mendes, who met with Ansu, his family and Juan Laporta over the past couple of days, has presented the option to the Barcelona president who seems to be tempted by the possibility. It is because a player plus cash deal for Ansu Fati would help Barcelona generate a larger share of fair play than just an outright sale. For example, supposedly if Barca were to sell Ansu Fati for a fee of let's say 30 to 40 million euros, they would have the entire 30 to 40 million as fair play. But in case it would be an exchange, a player exchange deal, things could be much more beneficial. Hypothetically, in a player swap deal, if Barcelona value Fati at around 70 million euros, it will entirely be added to their fair play along with other cash they receive as part of the operation. On top of that, they would have to just subtract one year for Neves' transfer amortization from the fair play. You know, so for example, if Wolf set the Portuguese value at 50 million euros and he signs a four year deal, Barca would have to subtract just 12.5 million euros from their books. The operation thus could be beneficial from the financial fair play point of view for FC Barcelona. However, as things stand, it is difficult for the deal to go through. For starters, Ansu Fati is still not willing to leave Barcelona at the moment. On top of that, doubts about Ruben Neves' suitability persist among the Barcelona coaching staff. They continue to see Martin Zubimendi impossible and Sofian Amrabat, depending on the fair play margin, as better fit to the requirements for the team. So Ansu Fati has been making a lot of headlines. The player... Of course, his future have been uncertain up to this very point as we speak. Barcelona honestly wants to sell him. And I, as a Barca fan, I have no big problem with that. And for me, even though they can loan him, if they think that the player is resisting a, a permanent sell, then they can loan him out. But that won't be easy as Ansu Fati and his father, Bori Fati, continue to make runs, saying that his son needs to play more and he believes that his son will stay at FC Barcelona for a long time. So now this report is talking about a potential or let me say possible swap that might involve Ruben Neves who have been long linked to Barcelona and Ansu Fati who have not had a good season at all despite being strong enough 
fit enough majority of the season um, has been on the box. And of course, Ruben Neves is a player that I've brought a lot of opinions between the Barca ranks. Javi and his coaching staff, according to reports, don't fancy Ruben Neves. He's not the player that Javi really wants in his setup. He doesn't suit Javi's tactical setup. But according to what we have been getting, Laporta and some of the board members won Ruben Neves by all costs. And of course, they are now contemplating if it would be possible to do a swap deal. Let's not forget, Ruben Neves is the, is the, has the same agent as Antu Fati, which is Josh Mendes. Which means that if, if there's any possible swap, it is going to be made easier because of there's one agent involved. Josh Mendes has been in working so hard to see that these two players' future have, have been decided as soon as possible. But right now, no one can say because we are hearing reports that Ansu Fazi is happy to stay, but the Barca are contemplating if they can sell him because his performance has not been good. Then on to the final story of discussion. Speaking of the public appearance, La Liga president Javier Tebas has given his two cents about Barcelona and their attempts to resign Lionel Messi in the summer. The La Liga Supremo has often been hard on Barca, hitting out at their financial practices over the Negreira case and their involvement in the Super League project. Talking about the possible return of Messi in the summer, Tebas had previously suggested that it, you know, it, um, it would be complicated for Barca to finalize a deal due to their current financial fair play situation. Barca have already sent their economic viability plan to La Liga and given an insight into it. The bar suggested that the club have a chance to raise a good amount of money by selling players this summer, which would help them to resign Messi. He said, Barcelona are going to sell players for good amounts. Their plan is going that way. He said, the best players stay in Spain and they, they say that Leo wants to return to Spain and it will have to be for less money than at PSG for sure. They have their strategy to sign more players. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but if they have managed to do that, to have that revenue, they, they, they have been able to spend more on players, he said. We discussed the consequences of the documentation received with the club. Until the siege plan is done, they will continue to exceed it. Yeah, we don't look at whether they bring him in for Messi or Mbappé. We tell them that they have so much money to sign. For Barcelona to resign Messi, guys, or any other player for that matter, they need to receive a green light from Barca on the economic viability plan and execute it. The Blaugrana thought we need to sell players and make cuts to their salary mass. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so, so you always stay in touch. Until next time, bye-bye.